Tonight, Blackhawks fans who launched racist taunts against a black Washington Capitals player will never be allowed to attend another Hawks home game. Those taunts caught in these photos on Saturday night. CBS 2 Suzanne Lemignot joins us live from the United Center with more on this troubling story. Suzanne? Well, Rob, the Blackhawks identified and contacted all four fans and told them they are banned from any of the home games here at the United Center. And meantime, the players are talking now about what happened. I'm glad that it was caught on camera mm -hmm. and that Devo actually spoke out because it's it's unacceptable, to be honest with you. Blackhawks forward Anthony Duclair talks about this video. Washington Capitals winger Devontae Smith Pelly says fans were repeatedly shouting the word basketball at him while he was in the penalty box. It's pretty obvious what that what that what that means. It's not it's not really a secret. Smith Pelly raised his stick as the taunts continued. What was said this time around across the line, so you kind of tell by my reaction. Duclair says he's also endured racist taunts through the years while playing the sport he loves. It's really tough. I mean, uh, I mean, it's obviously a white sport, and you just want to, you know, go out there and compete and do what you love every day. And um, you know, there's some ignorant people in this world. You got to deal with that. And in these photos, as one fan taunts Smith Pelly, several onlookers are smiling or laughing. Four fans were escorted out of the game. Obviously, we don't support that kind of behavior, and uh, I think at, at this in this day and age, uh, I, th I think it's time to start moving past that and, and realize that uh, you know we don't want to stoop to those levels. Yeah, I think all of us feel that that's just there's no place for any of that in society or at sporting events. And the NHL calls the behavior unacceptable and supports the actions taken by the Blackhawks here on Saturday. Live at the United Center, Suzanne Lemonio, CBS 2 News. Rob. Okay, Suzanne, thank you.